This is the Orca Boat Shop. My name is Rod and welcome back to the channel. We're working on Scout. We're getting very close to sort of the finish line on this one. In this episode, I'm going to finish up the foils, meaning the rudder and the centerboard. And then there's a few small additions, adaptions that the customer wanted. So let's get to it. Customers worried about the uh, centerboard maybe floating up a little bit. So the first step is going to be to create a small strap to hold them down. I kind of figured out this is where I want my snap to go. So I'm going to melt a small hole through the webbing again. Right there. Just big enough for the go through. This is the snap piece. Go through there. And I want to lay my into the anvil and this piece will go into there and then we're just going to rivet over the snap there by just kind of rolling that around the snap should be pretty well set in there pretty tight. It's not spinning too much. It's not really a huge deal. And then I'm going to go back and install this in the boat. So the big question will be is I'd like to screw this down. I'm going to need a smaller screw than that. So that's a number six. We're going to have to go to a number four. And that could work, but it's a bit long. Because I suppose I could just cut it off because I do not have a number four shorter than that. So I guess for visual, I have a number four that is just not sure whether the I'm going to have to do a bit of a test on this. Put this into some other piece of wood. See if it snaps onto there with the head of that because that's actually a number six. Okay, so I'm just screwing this with a number four into a scrap piece of wood. And then before committing to drilling in the here, will that snap onto there? doesn't appear so. So I'm going to try that bronze screw because that bronze screw is actually a number three. So the bronze screw kind of goes right inside. Let's just see if this is going to work. It doesn't snap on there very easily at all. So I'm wondering whether I'm screwing this down. Am I spreading the uh, Head a bit. Okay, so I have just put a piece in some scrap here to see if it's riveting it in there. It's different. Ah, see, so it snaps in there quite easily. So the screw itself is a problem. We need a pretty small screw. Okay, so we we'll set a smaller screw inside the snap. That snaps in there pretty good question will be is, you know, I think that uh, it's going to be small enough. Committed now. Okay, 
But we have a different, which I've got the rudder is going to go this way in. Things are not quite lined up perfectly yet until I get the uh, gudgeons on here to hold all of these pieces sort of in line with plywood. Right now things are kind of shifting this way. Now we have two lengths of pintles. Then to pull the rudder up on a pivot, I've got a line that's going to go through this little pulley or aya. Here, the washer and a nylock nut. Now generally we're not going to crank everything down so nothing can pivot, but the threads are into the plastic of the nylock to kind of hold it. Now with these pintles, they don't exactly easily wrap around there. I'm going to need to kind of open up in this area here and then bend this back in. Might be you know, a little extra glass and resin on those pieces. You know with the CNC cutting and using these fittings I'm just not sure why they haven't sort of marked and pre-drilled where those holes would go. I mean it's no huge deal to put them in but you know you do spend a bit of time trying to make sure that everything is in the right place. You've got two pieces that need to go on here. The, you know, you've got the pintles that's got to go on the rudder, nice and straight and level. And uh, I don't even know there was two holes drilled in this panel here for lining up dowels for the uh, doubler on the inside. And so you have those two holes, which I have not really filled with fillers I've just left the glass over so I'm trying to make sure that the gudgeons here you know one are level and I'm trying to work on my assuming that the panel is cut evenly symmetrical this side that side that that is exactly two inches down and that is exactly two inches down because once we start drilling holes, we're kind of committed. So I'm going to go through here. And I'll put some bolts in before taking clamps off. I can't even get a washer on there, so there are no other bolts that I'm aware of that require, so you would really only be able to get that in there without a washer, which I guess is fine because you've got the plate anyways. However, bolts uh, stick out quite a ways in here, so has to be the bolts. So I've just marked off with a felt pen where I think these need to be cut. We have this little phenolic tube spacer which needs to go between the cheeks of the uh, rudder assembly and also needs to go through the hole in the tiller. So I'm gonna to have to drill this a bit bigger than I already have and then seal it up with some uh, epoxy. 
I'm just going to use a Q-tip, get inside here, let the end grain, the open grain, soak up resin. The tube is uh, cut just long enough to fit between the cheeks, but I don't want it sticking out all one side. So let's look at the final assembly of the uh, rudder. So the rudder itself is just the foam covered in multiple layers of fiberglass and then I've added some graphite powder to uh, resin to make it black. The cheeks and the cheek supports and the two uh, pintles have been attached. Now oddly enough, um, yeah, I don't know whether it is something I've done wrong or something wrong in the design but uh, this pintle here uh, assembly had no problem driving these two screws through and attaching but the one which was the same like these two were the same originally but uh, when I drilled through and you may see up close here when I drilled through here I ended up actually drilling right in to the rudder itself so there's no way that I could see that the full length pintle arms here could go in without drilling into the rudder which of course would then prevent the rudder from pivoting up when needed. I have on the uh, transom we've attached the uh, gudgeons. That was a bit tricky as well. There's no markings on the transom itself as to where they should go as far as you know the height differences between them. I probably would have liked to have seen the bottom one down a bit lower. I leveled the boat out and then uh, you know used a plumb line to hang the rudder down so that I knew that it was hanging straight from level across and that's where I ended up with the, uh, the gudgeons being attached. I think it works quite well and then we have the little uh, stainless steel piece here which holds the rudder down. I don't really see that it's going to come popping out of there because it's a pretty good tight fit. On the uh, pint alarms uh, it's, uh, themselves, I did actually have to uh, spread them open a little bit. I could not get them to slide on without uh, really marking up and scratching up the uh, framing itself. So let's go put it on the boat and see how it works. So it is a pretty good tight fit here. We're going to get the bottom one or the top one in first and the bottom one will slide on and that drops in. I mean it's it's good and tight in there but I mean it pivots very easily so there's no issue there. Uh, you know I think that's enough pivoting in there. I mean it probably can pivot a bit more until metal hits. I think I may end up trying to cut these bolts off. I don't know why they need to be so long. I suppose the correct length just wasn't available. I think it's like one and a quarter. We've made the tiller the same uh, material as the gunnel stock and it has a uh, well, nice little pivot on there, no problem to lift it up and move it around, but it's certainly clearing any area of the transom here. And then on the bottom there, there is a sort of a cam cleat, well not really a cam cleat, but a, a cleat in there. So to pull the rudder up, we have a line going through, it goes through the uh, rudder assembly, down through and is tied off to the bottom of the row, well to the middle of the rudder there. Then there is a bungee cord and I'm not really sure how tight this needs to be. I've left you know a bunch of extra material on here so we can play with the adjustment to see how tight it really needs to be to pull it down. So all one has to do is grab onto here and the rudder with good bit of tension. That's why I'm not sure about the and then it should lock in and stay up as coming into the beach. Simply we just pull this down and the rudder should snap down. I do believe the tension on the bungee might be a bit tight. For the sailing rig, we'll get to that when we get the sail set up.
but we have it's a single I don't know what you call it it's a it's a double system in, in the sense of the main sheet is not one sheet that goes set from side to side sitting in the middle there are uh, there's pulleys on both sides here of the transom and I bolted them into or screwed them into the knees I would have liked to have attached them underneath but then the, the uh, this needs to be able to pivot up because this line here that should be over there this line here is what's going to go and hook on to the bottom of the sail itself I did seriously try to pinch these closed here because I was concerned that I think on this one I did and then you can sail so you've got a sheet running down both sides and if you want to tack well it's a little bit difficult right now because of the way the pulley is wanting to pull but when the pulley is or when the sheet is attached to the we have the new seats in they are uh, pre-made by the kit supplier carbon fiber there's two uh, bolts with knobs here tighten them down and you can position the seats got one set of uh, ore locks in because uh, we're not sure that if there's two people in the boat someone sitting in the rear seat someone sitting in the center seat where the center seat should need to slide forward so that the boat's balanced so there likely be a second set of ore locks call our ore locks attached somewhere up there and now that I have the foils uh, meaning the rudder and the centerboard all done ready and installed now it's time to move on to the rigging for all the sail components so that'll be the next video and then we're getting ready for launch day so thank you very much for watching hey if you like this video please do give me a thumbs up and maybe consider becoming a subscriber see you next video